In the inaugural episode, we're introduced to Mak Ha, a devoted fan of the singer Ranju, who, when given the opportunity to talk to her on the phone, faces a desperate battery crisis and crosses paths with Kiho, who offers her his phone's battery after witnessing her tearful plight. However, just as Mak Ha is about to harmonize with her idol, Kiho disconnects the call, leaving her shattered dreams of being acknowledged by Ranju and traveling to Seoul in tatters. But undeterred, Mak Ha discovers an alternative path to gain recognition by participating in a music video competition. But there's a hitch. She must enlist Kiho's aid since he possesses the sole video camera. Meanwhile, Kiho, enduring mistreatment from his father and nursing a hidden desire to escape the island, quietly accumulates funds through odd jobs. And when Mak Ha proposes a financial arrangement for his help, he accepts, leading to their collaboration in the video shoot, during which he is left awestruck by Mak Ha's remarkable talent. In due course, Kiho learns that Mak Ha, much like himself, has suffered from paternal mistreatment, igniting a deep sense of compassion and a determination to aid her, and upon witnessing her plummeting self-esteem, he submits her video to the competition, which eventually leads to a call from Seoul. Yet he notices Mak Ha's dwindling motivation as she turns down the opportunity that unfolds before her. It becomes apparent to him that she is concealing her pain, so he offers her a lifeline by urging her to seek refuge with him should her father harm her once more, promising they will flee the island on that fateful day. Eventually, Mak Ha finds her way to his doorstep and knocks on his window, and together they head for the docks, informing Ranju's manager of their journey to Seoul with hopes of a future meeting. However, Mak Ha's father detects her absence and rushes to the docks, where he's spotted by Kiho, who, driven by his desire to see Mak Ha attain her dreams, instructs her to proceed to Seoul alone, bidding her farewell and wishing her success. Disembarking from the ferry, Kiho makes a valiant effort to confront Mak Ha's father, but endures severe injuries, unable to prevent him from docking the ferry. In this moment, Mak Ha learns that Kiho too endured abuse akin to her own, and the motive behind his support becomes clear to her. Just as she comprehends this, she catches sight of her father through the window and rushes away from him, fleeing until the ferry's journey comes to an end. In a defiant refusal to return to the torment she had escaped, Mak Ha jumps off the ferry, prompting her shocked father to follow. News of their tragic demise quickly circulates across the island, leaving Kiho consumed with guilt, blaming himself for the heartbreaking turn of events. In the present day, 15 years later, Kiho still frequents the spot where he had instructed Mak Ha to go upon reaching Seoul. On the other hand, Mak Ha has adjusted to her solitary existence on the deserted island. However, one fateful day, a drone unexpectedly emerges and hovers before her. Don't miss out on the bittersweet tale of Mak Ha and Kiho, two souls whose lives were forever entwined by fate, as we explore the enduring impact of their past choices and the unexpected drone that now hovers on the horizon.